almost want to cry. Wait a second. What is this? What? It's an acceptance letter from Florida State. I didn't know you got in the Florida State. Neither did I. I never saw this before. What do you mean? I mean, I never saw this letter before. I applied. I really wanted to go. I never heard back. I, I just assumed they, they rejected me like every other college and that beauty school. <laughs> he must have hid this from me. Well, why would he do that? I don't know. I don't know. Look at this. It's a pros and cons list about whether I should go or not. Pro, better life for her. Con, worse life for me. <laughs> no, that's good. That, that's some great parenting right there. Pro, sunshine. Con, Burt Reynolds dinner theater. <laughs> this is crazy. Actually, my parents saw Evita there and loved it. <laughs> no, if I would have gone to the school, I, I could have gotten a degree. I could have gotten out of Queens. My whole life would have been different. Well, your life turned out okay, didn't it? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. I am gonna go down to that hospital right now, and I'm gonna kill him. Just take it easy. Okay, look, you have every right to be mad, but he's going in for heart surgery, okay? So you can't do anything about it now. But I'm gonna Shh. kill him. Shh. <laughs> More importantly, we gotta think about other things. Like, what the hell is on my finger? Hey, we're back. How you doing? I'm pretty sure they drugged me. <laughs> You're going in for surgery. They're supposed to drug you. You are one dumb bunny. <laughs> Here you go. Brought you your sleep mask and some clean pajamas. Yeah, hello. Uh-huh. OK, sure. You know what? They need me down at a meeting. Must be about billing or something. I'll go. What? No, I can take care of it. Oh, honey, don't leave me alone with him, OK? I might, I might hurt him. Come on. I'm serious. I could pull a rubber glove over his head. You see, I already have a plan. Right. You're going to be fine. No! What, no magazines? You didn't ask for magazines. Didn't realize I had to ask for the obvious. <laughs> Sorry. Are you Mr. Heffernan? Uh, yeah. Please, please, have a seat. Okay. My name is Dr. Berger. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm afraid that Mr. Moynihan's condition is quite a bit more serious than we first thought. Mr. Moynihan? F. Moynihan? Yes, yeah. You see, he has a volvulus, which in mm -hmm. layman's terms is a twisted colon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I'm afraid that we're going to have to perform emergency surgery on him immediately. Mm. And why are you telling me this exactly? <laughs> well, you are Mr. Moynihan's emergency contact. Now, we haven't broken the news to him yet. We, well, we feel it's best for a loved one to be present. <laughs> you know, the thing is... I, hey. I, 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 did you happen to see the best IPS guy in the world? <laughs> oh, oh. Yes. Mr. Spooner, we're about ready for your procedure. They'll be in in a few minutes to wheel you down. Okay, thank you. Darling, can you say a few words with me? Hmm? I'm about to have heart surgery. I figure it can't hurt to talk to the man upstairs. Oh. Okay. Just you understand, man upstairs is a euphemism for God. I know. I just didn't want you running upstairs looking for some other man. Thank you. <laughs> Dear God, please help me get through my heart procedure. And please make sure they don't circumcise me. <laughs> Special emphasis on the latter. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Dad, since you're praying, now may be a good time to confess anything that may be bothering you. Anything you think you've done wrong? No. No? Because I was thinking, oh, I don't know, um, anything that you did in World War II or, say, when I was a senior in high school? Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm, mm hmm That boy you liked, Dennis Pareto, he called you once, and I never told you about it. <laughs> What? He burped into the phone. He claimed it was an accident. I didn't buy it. Dennis Pareto. The guy I was in love with for like three years. He called and he didn't tell me. I'm terribly sorry. Thank you for making me clear my conscience, sweetheart. I feel much better now. Glad I can help. Okay, now here's what I don't like. You see the way the colon sort of twists around itself? Not really. Well, you see it there, Doug. Not really, no. Well, the good news is, I think we caught it early enough. 
Anyway, I'll give you two a few minutes alone. Uh, no. oh. <laughs> Twisted colon, that doesn't sound so bad. Hey, Twisty! <laughs> so you put me down as your emergency contact, huh? Yeah, I got your number off the card you gave me. <laughs> I didn't think they'd have to use it. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> Oh, that is twisted. <laughs> um, I, uh, I really gotta get going because my uh, father-in-law's got a thing of his own. Okay, bye, Doug. God bless you. <laughs> uh, is there anyone you want me to call for you, or? No, you're my emergency contact. There is nobody else. Pretty pathetic, huh? No, no, I mean, I'll tell you who has a rough time getting emergency contacts. Amish people, no phones, huh? <laughs> Amish people have phones. I don't think they do. <laughs> well, even if they don't have phones, let me tell you what they do have. They have family and friends that love them. Hey, not necessarily. I bet you there are some very nasty Amish people out there. Doug, I appreciate what you're trying to do for me here, but I think we both know that Amish people are pretty great. <laughs> well, so are you. Hey, Doug, can we go hold the preemies? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry? The premature babies down in the nursery, the human contact helps them grow, and, well, I think connecting with life in that way might make me feel a whole lot better. Plus, they smell really good. I, I, I can't, because I, I have a thing I gotta run uh, to my father-in-law, okay. so...